And staying at the CES, while last year saw drones have their first really big year at the Consumer Electronics Show, this year featured an explosion of different ones. Here's Alex Kui reporting from the CES in Las Vegas. Hi everyone, I'm Alec Kui and today we're here at CES where there's a lot of drones that are featured by many companies throughout the world. In fact, a large part of the CES real estate went to these unmanned aerial vehicles. The drone business has grown much since recent regulations have allowed for the commercial use of drones in inspecting farms, plants, or industrial equipment located in unsafe locations or environments. Drone manufacturers showcased a wide range of drones from industrial and personal use. There were the big drones, the small drones, and the Power Ray, which is an underwater drone aimed at fishing enthusiasts wishing to use its 12 megapixel camera to look for fish. This one in particular comes with a fish finder built onto the bottom as well as this fancy dancy little hook which allows you to tie a fish, uh, a uh, fishing line onto the front. You can dangle the bait in front of it, watch in stunning 4K as a fish comes up, snatches the bait off your line which you can then reel in from your, from your fishing pole. Selfie drones were also popular at CES this year, but not all seem to be built to last. Keeping drones under half a pound means owners don't have to register their drones with the FAA. For example, Zero Zero Robotics Hover camera passport only weighs 0.534 pounds and for portability folds down to the size of an old VHS tape. And despite its size, the hover can track your movement, take shots or video of you via its 13 megapixel camera. But my personal favorite is a drone from ZeroTech, which is the Dobby Pocket Drone. <laughs> the Dobby Pocket Drone and is powered by ZeroTech. And Zerotech has uh, nearly a decade of exp expertise at industry drones. But since 2015, we just cooperated with Qualcomm America to promote mini drones. The Dolby weighs a mere 7 ounces, but can still perform smart functions such as target tracking and facial recognition. Meaning you can toss it in the air and have it follow you around on a bike ride, a hike, or even just to take a selfie. So it's kind of perfect for everyone to capture the daily lives from a special aerial angle. You can check more information about Dolby Pocket Drone at Zerotech.com. Now it's retail at 399 US dollars and it's available at Best Buy, Amazon, BNH. That was really fun. Again, I'm Alec Kui, your tech correspondent, and I am one with 25. <laughs>